All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to J Plague's Keys. Today, I'm going to be talking about a couple different ways you can play your 736. And what really inspired me to do this video was I was listening to the song Rain on Us by Ernest Pugh this morning, and they have a really good 736 in that song. And I was just playing around with different ways I could do the 736. So, um, one thing you'll notice is that I have uh, electric piano type sound now. So it sounds a little better than what I was using. Uh, I went to um, Jamal Hartwell's website and I got the MK Sensation uh, download. So I got a couple new sounds I can experiment with. So this is what we're going with this time. Um, also, um, just to explain the 736, this is definitely a lesson from our more uh, experienced piano players. So like if you're more immediate, intermediate, um, because you got to understand the numbers but even if you're a beginner if you want to if you can put the time in you can do it too so your 736 is when you hear this in a song okay so basically I'm in the key of C sharp and so the 7 is C 6 is I mean the 3 is F and then the 6 is B flat okay so that's what I'm doing just different ways to do that and that's actually the first way to do the 736 is it doesn't require many complicated chords it's just right here look at the uh, keys they light up that's my right hand B flat C sharp E flat F sharp A flat C sharp E flat A flat and then A flat C C sharp F all right all over that 736 so so um, when you hear them walk it down on um, on the song, Rain On Us, purify our hearts. Okay, so I'm not going to teach that song today just yet, but I'm, I'm just going to use it as my example because that was my inspiration. So that's what I'm thinking of. Also, you can, you might also see the 736 in one of the call and response songs. So um, if you say, you know, what you know about Jesus, he's all right. And then so you might be going, what you know about Jesus, he's all right. He's my friend, okay? So, um, or be blessed that wonderful name of Jesus. Okay, so you'll hear that in, in different songs. So I'm just bringing that up because it can be a praise song, like a fast song, but 736 is more often used in the slow songs, but do look out for it in some of those call and response songs too. Um, so let's get into the other two ways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a way to walk it down. So going from that four all the way down to your 736, and then I'm gonna Still walk it down from the four, but I'm going to go up the opposite way in my right hand. So I'll play it through both of the ways and I'll explain it to you right after that. So here's my two ways to do 736. Okay, and then the other way. So down take this off. Sorry for that. Sometimes these these different computer programs do that. Alright, so and so that was down and then up. Alright, so I'll I'll make sure I, I teach you these. So here you go. Your well, the first one going down is your F sharp chord in your uh, left hand or F sharp bass, and then you got B flat, E flat, F, and B flat in your right hand. Right here, you got that F in your left hand, and then A flat, C sharp, E flat, A flat. Right hand, F sharp, B flat. C sharp, F sharp, over that E 
flat. That sounds good. Um, F, A flat, C, and F. And then you got E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat over at seven. E flat, A, and E flat over F. All right, so I'm going to walk it down again and pay attention to the, uh, the keyboard as they light up. You can see what I'm playing. Okay, so I hesitate a little bit there because you can also... So all I did right there was when I was on my, so say seven and then three, I just played that three chord twice. So if you think you're counting, one, two, That's just something you can do when you got extra beats depending on what song you're doing you might not want to just hold the note out all four counts or whatever the time signature is for the song so i might just go okay so i'm just playing the exact same thing on uh, on a different beats that's all i'm doing so So, and on that three, um, so here's the seven and then the three. All I did, all I'm doing is just playing that chord with my left hand. So E flat, A, and C. I don't have to, don't have to play the whole thing. So right there. So E flat, A, C, and then over that chord I showed you for the uh, right hand. E flat, A, C, F. Okay? So let me play it. Um down and I'll do that part. Okay, so when you go to your six in your left hand, it's gonna be A, A flat, B flat, C, C sharp, and F. And then in your right hand, it's So it's basically a a flat chord, A flat, C sharp, F sharp, and then that's a C sharp chord right there. A flat, C sharp, F, and then A flat, C, E flat. And then I kind of play that B right before that C. Okay. Now you got it. So I'm play it one more time. So just have fun with it. You know, just whatever. Just play around with it. Whatever sounds good to you. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is same bass. So walking it down, but my right hand, I'm going to go opposite direction. Up, so watch. So I may not play it exactly the same every time because, you know, you just, but you, you get the gist there. I'm just going up. Okay. So here you go. I already know this chord. B flat, E flat, F, B flat. C, E flat, A flat, and C over this F. E flat bass with a C sharp chord on the right hand. Just C sharp, C sharp, F and A in there. You know this chord too. E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat. F, F sharp, and then F, B flat, C, F. E 
flat A C F and then I might play it down here again. E flat A C F and then so on the six you're gonna have the same chord in your left hand A flat B flat C C sharp and a F but I'm gonna play that so instead of this I'm gonna play this in my right hand A flat and then E flat F and B flat yeah you can throw that G in there too and so see I just I just see what sounds good so if I know I'm doing that so I wonder if I can add that G in there yeah that works adds a little more dissonance so I play it so you can do that too flat go up to that B flat C sharp B flat E and then back down and if you play that left hand chord you can you can do that without even doing a 736 you can just walk up to the keyboard and you know just you can just walk up to this keyboard and do that and you know you can play the six down here so so that's something cool to do at the end. So you can even do it on the other 736 going down. Okay. So just these keys, these four keys, just play around with them. You can even play it, you know, with, with your bass too. something like that so if it feels good do it so um that's it let me show you a couple of the touches of how i kind of make it sound a little better and again you don't do these every time but just you know throw it in there so i go so so right there when i go to that f and I'm doing that's where I'm going so so I'll do B flat B C and then back down and if you don't end up doing the whole chord you don't have to play every single note in the chord see so you go What that does is, you know, in C sharp, your two five one, it almost makes it feel like that should be the end because you resolve that two five one, and then you then you just keep going um, to that seven, which it gives a good feel to the song. So. And I might do that more going down. better that way okay so let's look at it one more time okay so what I did there was and since I knew it was going to go to that five I just hit that diminished real quick okay so let's see So that diminished for that A flat, if you want to play it, you don't have to, is right here. F sharp, and then A, C, F. You 
got to be quick. All right, so I'll demonstrate one more time because I like the way it sounds. You can do that too. So I did. You can go. Okay. So that's it. So there's the three ways that I like to do to the seven three six. And then four. Okay, so remember. just playing it different ways because you can mix up elements of all three of those and make it how you want it so you could do this and then come up here you know you can mix it up or you can go and then just play it all down here um, just just spend time with it see what sounds good listen to songs to have it you know just see what you might what you might want to do so all right well that's it thanks for listening to uh, J plays keys and um, I'll see you in the next video